The fourth of the illustrious Gang of Four, but certainly not the least, is Dr. William Perry, the 19th Secretary of Defense. Dr. Perry is a founding NTI board member and a steadfast supporter of NTI's mission. He brings tremendous credibility, boundless energy, and unwavering passion to our work. Dr. Perry, you are an inspiration to us all. Thank you, Joan. I'd like to preface my comments by noting that in the audience tonight are Stephanie and Ash Carter. Last week, the Senate, by unanimous consent, confirmed Ash as our new Deputy Secretary of Defense. Well, <laughs> of particular significance to this meeting, during the Clinton administration, he worked tirelessly to personally bring about the dismantlement of 4,000 nuclear weapons under the Nunn-Lugar program. <laughs> now, when we think of leaders in disarmament, we do not ordinarily think of ministers of defense, secretaries of defense, deputy secretaries of defense, secretaries of war, Therefore, I am particularly honored that NTI has selected a former Secretary of Defense as to na <coughs> whose name is going to be on one of their 10-year awards. And as it is especially appropriate that the recipient of that award will be a former Minister of Defense of the United Kingdom, Lord Desmond Brown. Let me give you a little background on Des Brown. In a speech last year, he said, and I will quote him, the 21st century presents us with a new and less stable order that is more dangerous than the Cold War. Collectively, we need to address it before it overwhelms us. Before it overwhelms us. And he also said, collectively. Let me focus on that a little bit because collectively is the key. Lord Brown believes, as I do, that nuclear security is an issue that absolutely demands that politicians and policymakers from all parties and all political persuasions work together. And indeed, the Nun Lugar program is a classic example of that. So, what has Des Brown done to manifest these views? Inspired in part by NTI's nuclear security project, Lord Brown in 2009 convened a group called the Top Level Group in the United Kingdom. This group is made up of senior politicians, including foreign ministers, for, former defense ministers, and military leaders from all of the United Kingdom's main parties. They are now working together to promote the vision and steps towards a world without nuclear weapons. More recently, Lord Brown has led the creation of the ELN, the European Leadership Network, a similar group of about a hundred former top-level officials from all over Europe. They are pressing their governments to take urgent threat reduction measures and again reaching across all parties. Uh, my own view on this is that the top-level group and the ELN, which were inspired in part by NTI, in turn should serve as an inspiration for NTI as to where we should be going in the United States and maybe in North America. It's because coalitions like this can be powerful force for action. And with Lord Brown's leadership, they have already begun to influence the path towards a safer world. Uh, Lord Brown, for your vision and your ongoing leadership in the nuclear threat reduction, I am delighted to present you this award. Speaking for the NTI board, and indeed, speaking more generally for all of the people in the world, we thank you for the dedication and for the energy that you have brought to this absolutely vital task.
dead here. Excellencies, Senators, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is both an honour and privilege to be with you tonight, and thank you very much for this award. I, I am humbled to be in the company of my fellow honorees. I never expected ever to be in this sort of company. Uh, I have to say I'm honoured and slightly in awe to rise from the Nun Lugar table to receive an award from Bill Perry uh, with his name on it. But I can say that for someone who believes in politics, who believes in leadership, and who believes in a world free of nuclear weapons, frankly, it doesn't come much better than that. It is traditional in these circumstances to say that I wouldn't be here but for other people. Uh, in my case, it happens to be true. Uh, I wouldn't be here but for the colleagues I work with in the top level group and in the ELN's organisation. They're a small number of very dedicated young people. They're represented here tonight by the Chief Executive of the ELN organisation, Dr uh, Ian Cairns. But they deserve this award as much as I do and I receive it for them and they will be immensely proud when I take it back uh, to London to them. Over the course of this evening, we have heard much in many different ways celebrating the achievements of the NTI and their 10 years of contribution to leadership in this very difficult area of public policy. It is difficult to find a new and fresh way to say this, but as I looked around the room, I was struck by the scale and scope of the partnerships who were represented here. And I think they are Sam and Ted and all the other board members of NTI and their supporters, a testimony to your enormous achievements uh, over these 10 short years. And I leave you with this simple message, I think, on behalf of everyone who has experienced the energy of your organization. If this is what you can achieve in 10 years, there are many of us that look forward to your adolescence and your teenage years. Thank you very much. <laughs>